user digest, I would like to uh, focus on uh, uh, licenses, uh, giving a, a, a few uh, introductory elements about copyright and licenses just for those of, of you who are not very uh, familiar with uh, uh, the, the topic. And then uh, uh, pro, uh, di uh, briefly discussing a couple of cases uh, concerning, in particular, Italy in the open data domain and the in the cultural heritage uh, uh, domain, which, uh, in my opinion, provide uh, an interesting, uh, I say, case study of the typical problems that you uh, face uh, when you try to introduce uh, open policies uh, in uh, a an environment which is not uh, accustomed to the to the topic. So. Uh, as a I mean, basic in, in introduction to, to copyright, copyright is, a, let's say, a bunch of uh, legal rights uh, giving uh, an exclusive power to cre authors, creators. So you can exclude other people from uh, doing uh, essentially everything uh, with uh, uh, your, your work. Uh, this essentially everything uh, is subject to some exception and, and uh, uh, limitation, but uh, the default rule of copyright pr uh, protection is that uh, without uh, any kind of formality, if, even without writing the, the copyright C uh, in, in, in your works, uh, you get uh, the full uh, pro uh, copyright uh, protection, the old rights uh, reserved status uh, for your entire life uh, plus uh, uh, 70 years, so 70 years after the death of the author. Uh, this kind of, of, of situation, even if copyright is uh, let's say a territorial right, so it could be different nation by nation, it has been uh, uniformed basically all around the, the, the world by several international conventions, and starting from the Berne Convention. So since more than 100 years, uh, uh, various states are working to uniform copyright. And uh, no nowadays, the degree of variation that you actually uh, find in national legal system is relatively low although there are some specific rights, like uh, the rights for databases in, in Europe, which do not uh, apply to the entire world because uh, they are not uh, part uh, of the Berne Convention, for instance. Actually, the Berne Convention includes some uh, basic, uh, uh, let's say, copyrights concerning databases, but not uh, the, the, the very strong and pervasive uh, sui generis database right, which is instead present in uh, Europe. So, as a co corollary to this uh, very simplified uh, description of copyright, since by default you have all rights uh, reserved, if you want uh, to be more permissive, to let other people uh, reuse, uh, uh, mesh up uh, new stuff with your own creative works, you have to explicitly state this. Uh, so you have to use uh, essentially open licenses if you want these rights to be very, very broad. Uh, as I mentioned beforehand, in any case, you have some exception and limitation creating some very narrow rights to reuse for some specific purposes your material, like the, the, the typical quotation in, in a citation and, and so on. Uh, but uh, overall, it's quite safe uh, to assume that everything uh, which is not explicitly allowed in terms of a reuse of copyrighted material is forbidden. So it's, uh, let's say, an oversimplifying assumption, but this justifies the fact that in practice, to do open content, open data, open knowledge in general, you do need open licenses. Doing without that would be possible in certain situations having specific copyright rules, like in the United States for uh, federal state produced works, but these are specific cases. In general, if you don't attach a clear license, the risk of uncertainty is so high that you somehow uh, block uh, or disincentive significantly uh, reuse. So, uh, by saying uh, open content and data require open licenses, I, I mean, ma make reference to license in the term of uh, a permission, a kind of promise not to sue. I, the license or the right holder, uh, promise not to sue you, the, the licensee, assuming that uh, you respect certain conditions which are stated in my, in my license. Uh, and here, by, by open, uh, I mean open in the sense, for instance, of the open uh, knowledge uh, uh, de uh, definition or of the definition of free culture, if you prefer. But in any case, open here means that uh, 
anyone can freely access, but also use, modify, share, uh, republish uh, on, on, online for any purpose the uh, material that uh, he uh, received. Uh, it's quite frequent that then when you contact a new ins institution, for instance, you may think about the, the gal gallery, library, and archives domain, you contact a new institution to ask them whether they, they want to collaborate with uh, a, a, a Wikimedia project, put some content on uh, Wikimedia Commons, uh, add some uh, biographical information that they do have on Wikipedia, etc., etc., or, or participate in open data project, uh, there is a debate about uh, choosing the proper license. Uh, as I will stress later on, I don't think that this is the most complex part in this kind of interaction, but it typically takes uh, quite a, a, a lot of time. Uh, the approach that, that I usually uh, take in, in this uh, a situation is to take as a guiding principle the idea of uh, legal interoperability. Uh, I, mean, uh, I, I mean interoperability in the sense of technical interoperability, the possibility of, in this case, legally mixing content and data from different sources uh, and uh, using this remixed content uh, in a broad range of, uh, say, community and or business models. So uh, the more you are free to reuse uh, heterogeneous material for any kind of purpose, the more uh, the, 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 the licenses or legal rules uh, governing this uh, material are legally interoperable. Uh, so I don't know if you can, yeah, more or less, maybe you can see this, this table. I'm going to comment on some specific parts. Uh, here, the idea is, uh, uh, given the original license of a piece of content uh, on the lines, uh, let's say the first line is I take something in public domain and I uh, republish it, uh, I want to republish it under another kind of license after having remixed it, maybe with some content which is already available under, I don't know, uh, CC BY license. Uh, uh, th this is always possible because the, the, the first line is uh, taking as input uh, public domain material. So it's a, as free as, as it can get, and so you are always free to remix it with other kind of content and, and data, possibly under other licenses, and uh, you are free to choose the final license uh, that you like, uh, as, as long as you own all the rights uh, apart from what is uh, in, uh, in public do uh, domain. Of course, uh, the, the situation uh, becomes much, much more complex if you receive uh, content which is uh, available under a more restrictive license. And by restrictive license, I also mean uh, the, the, the standard license of Wikipedia it itself, which, which is open according to the definition I, I gave, uh, but also quite demanding in terms of uh, uh, the, the, the kind of uh, conditions that you have to respect in order to legally re uh, reuse the material, mixing it with other materials. So in this case, uh, the, the, the line would be more or less in the middle, the line Creative Commons by share alike, uh, uh, which is uh, a so-called viral license. So you have to uh, redistribute under the same license what you receive under Creative Commons by share, share alike, and not by chance uh, in, in this kind of table. Uh, the license is just compatible with uh, itself. I, I, I could have added here some of a few licenses which are uh, declared as uh, uh, compatible with uh, uh, Creative Commons, like the Art Libre license, which is more widely spread used in, in France. Uh, in this case, uh, there are just a couple of licenses uh, which uh, allow for in interoperability. So just uh, zooming on some, some parts of, of the table, uh, the part I was uh, discussing uh, right now, um, uh, Creative Commons uh, uh, by uh, Share Like, if you want your output uh, to be under Creative Commons by share like, for instance, because you want your output uh, uh, to be part of uh, uh, a, a Wikipedia, uh, you may, let's say, uh, receive uh, uh, content, uh, which is already in the public domain, of course, no a, a restriction under uh, a Creative Commons attribution license, so less uh, demanding than uh, a share like. You just need to, to preserve the attribution clause. Uh, you, you may use, of course, content which is already under the same license, Creative Commons attribution, uh, share alike, and uh, several national licenses. For instance, here in, in the table, some of the lines uh, like uh, 
IODL is the Italian o Open Data License, uh, is uh, similar to the uh, UK Open Government License, which is uh, uh, present in the, in the last line. Actually, the Italian Open Data License uh, version 2.0, I will comment on that later on, is similar to the uh, United Kingdom Open Government License, and uh, as you see, they, they are described in the same way in, in, the, in, in the table, and these licenses are essentially attribution license which explicitly include uh, either in the license itself or in the frequently asked question clarification about the compatibility with uh, uh, some uh, Creative Commons licenses including uh, the attribution share alike license used by Wikipedia. In, in, in this case, the only problem that you may have is properly managing the attribution uh, in the terms in which it is required by each license, but this is usually doable. Uh, of course, it's, it's much more challenging if you want to uh, republish uh, stuff, uh, I mean, data in this case, uh, on uh, Wikidata, uh, where, let's say, the, the final status should be Creative Commons Zero, that is, the, the, out, the final output should be in the public domain. Uh, the sources that, that you may uh, use are more limited. In certain cases, maybe you don't even need a license because you just extract a single fact from another source. This is in the public domain because it's not uh, creative, it's not expressive, and it is not a, an entire database, so you don't have to respect any license to copy a single datum. But if you uh, extract an entire uh, database uh, uh, which is um, uh, subject to Creative Commons attribution licenses, license, then it's uh, disputable whether uh, you could actually uh, publish this to, to Wikidata. In my opinion, uh, you can't, but uh, I mean, this is a an issue which uh, could, could be uh, discussed uh, now if you are in, in interested in trying to complete this uh, in introduction quickly also to, uh, to, to discuss with, with you whether you agree or not with this kind of summary of the uh, situation. So in, in practice, uh, you, you do have some, uh, let's say, universal donors. If you want to use a license which uh, could uh, feed content to any other project, you should go for a public domain status, that is, you should use Creative Commons Zero, for instance. This is why Wikidata itself is using Creative Commons Zero to be a potential source for any other database. Uh, but of course, this requires uh, a, a careful uh, analysis in input. Uh, or you, you, you could use other tools uh, uh, to put your, your content into the public domain, or you should uh, just, uh, l l say, clarify and make it uh, undisputable, but the content is already in the public domain. For instance, if you digitize uh, some uh, uh, old books, including tables and content and, 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 and so on, uh, the public domain mark uh, is uh, in, in another tool which uh, does not change the legal status of uh, this old uh, book because it's already in the public domain, but just uh, kind of metadata stating that this material is in the public domain. On the other hand, we don't really have universal receivers of content in the sense that the only thing that you typically are allowed to do is keeping your data within your personal, let's say, data center. Uh, but uh, um, among open licenses, probably uh, attribution share alike is the best candidate as, uh, let's say, more or less universal uh, uh, receiver also because of the role of uh, uh, Wikipedia itself uh, as, a, uh, as a source and as a standard. Uh, and uh, this is uh, coupled with the, the, the fact that uh, DBpedia, uh, that is the, the linked open data representation, the database, so to speak, a representation of uh, uh, Wikipedia in Infobox and other structured data from w Wikipedia uses the same license. Um, and so several projects uh, uh, on, online to use the, the same license uh, may, may be the most interesting exception uh, to community projects having adopted uh, a, a, a similar viral ap approach but not using Creative Commons attribution share likes is uh, OpenStreetMap which uses uh, the Open Database license uh, uh, from Open Data Commons and there there are some uh, interesting and complex interoperability problems be because the two are not uh, uh, directly interoperable unless uh, you specify some uh, ad hoc clauses together with the Open Data Commons license. Uh, then, uh, of course, for those of, of you who in interact uh, with uh, institutions, it's typically very useful to uh, remind about the 
the, the tendency of uh, several institutions, in particular in, in, the, in the GLAM uh, dom domain, I think this is very widespread, of uh, suggesting uh, non-commercial licenses. Uh, but in general, the public sector sometimes uh, uh, tend to uh, uh, favor this uh, uh, non-commercial approach uh, in order, let's say, to feel more consistent with uh, the use in the interest of the whole community and against the appropriation by any single party. If this is suggested, just remind to yourself and the institution with which you are interacting that non-commercial also means not only no let's say direct commercial reuse and business models, this may be okay with the uh, let's say, glam institution, but it also means uh, no open communities who want to be open downstream. So if uh, Wikipedia wants to be uh, reusable also for commercial purposes downstream using CC BY share alike, uh, it needs uh, to just input material which is also reusable for commercial purposes. So non-commercial means uh, no Wikipedia, non-commercial means no open street map, uh, as long as you are aware of this, uh, that's fine, but uh, uh, often time uh, when you explicitly state that uh, you have the occasion of having another round of discussion about non-commercial, maybe suggesting that instead of non-commercial you could go for a share-alike approach, which is again consistent with the idea of uh, avoiding direct appropriation to the detriment of society, but uh, uh, compatible with some business models. Uh, in any case, I don't want to over um, stress uh, the role of uh, uh, choosing licenses. The actual problem typically is not choosing the license, is being able to uh, apply the license. So for, s for, s for simple cases, you have just one right holder deciding which license they want to apply. When you arrive at the point in which you select the license, you are done. But in the more complex cases, you have one institution which is collecting material from several parties uh, with different kind of contracts and agreements. In this case, understanding which rights are acquired by an institution is much more complex than actually choosing the license that they would like to use as output because in input, they also have uh, to uh, check or possibly modify the agreement uh, with their uh, providers. So since I was talking uh, about rights, uh, I couldn't uh, refrain from having a late incitation saying basically that you cannot transfer more than what you have. Uh, so con I'm concluding with uh, these two slides. Uh, one uh, about open data in Italy. I think uh, it was uh, an interesting case. Uh, Italy, as many other European countries, decided to create uh, its own license for open data. It's not used by all institutions. Several are using, uh, for instance, uh, Creative Commons licenses, but some are using this open data commons um, license, Itali sorry, Italian op open data license. Here, it's interesting to see that, uh, I mean, the, the community that we are uh, representing essentially uh, slowly managed to convince uh, the institution uh, drafting this license that uh, uh, the li license, which initially was a non-commercial license, then had a second version, which was just share alike, suggesting this substitution of a non-commercial rule with a reciprocity principle, and then uh, they decided to also remove uh, the, the share alike uh, rule uh, in order to make it easier uh, to reuse also for commercial purposes because they understood that the problem was uh, an insufficient level of awareness and reuse and not uh, too much uh, uncontrolled uh, reuse of data, for instance. A last uh, example about uh, um, gallery, library, and archive in Italy. In particular, we, in Italy, we do have uh, a very peculiar cultural heritage law, uh, creating uh, something which is very similar to copyright, uh, but uh, uh, coming from uh, the, the code of cultural heritage, so to speak. So when you uh, take a picture of a monument, not only stuff in museums, but also from, from the public street, uh, uh, this is... Uh, um, in principle subject to this right exercised, let's say, by the state or by the custodian of the good. Uh, so slowly uh, taking, I mean, uh, uh, 
consideration of uh, the internet, the role of the internet, digital revolution of social media, the, the Italian government started uh, uh, more the government than, than the parliament, to be frank, with decrees, uh, but also the parliament recently uh, accelerated this, this process, uh, uh, started li liberalizing some uses, not only personal picture, but also publications online, as long uh, as uh, commercial purposes uh, are not uh, allowed. And now the current goal uh, that we, we also uh, try to reach uh, uh, in uh, a conference a few days ago here in uh, uh, Varenna is to move from the idea of non-commercial to an idea of reciprocity so that uh, interoperability with, uh, with Wikipedia is uh, guaranteed. So th thank you very much. <laughs> so uh, do you have any, I, I don't know, comments Criticism, because I mean, s some of the stuff I summarized, it was maybe a bit uh, over summarized. So, uh, if something was unclear, you are not convinced, uh, or uh, you, you you think I completely, uh, I mean, disregarded some points. Like, uh, I took the Creative Commons licenses uh, as uh, a, a tool, more or less, as granted. But if somebody is interested, of of course, we, we can just uh, quickly comment. For instance, the the online procedure to select a license uh, uh, as a, an example, so please. Uh, I just wanted to hear some thoughts uh, from you about uh, data donations on Wikidata because you pointed that out. I mean, since Wikidata is CC0 and um, the direction now is trying to standardize a f a the flow for data donations, uh, what about uh, third-party data providers uh, which release their data sets with not CC0? What are your feelings? I, I think that uh, we are in this kind of uh, scenario. So we, we are uh, trying uh, with uh, Wikidata to be essentially as demanding as possible in terms of uh, the amount of, of rights that uh, we want to re receive because we want to return this data to the world with uh, the most uh, permissive status that is uh, being in, in the public do domain. So. Uh, I think that the, the, the actual delicate point uh, is that, uh, first of all, uh, you have the, some more steps to, to go with uh, respect to the standard si situation on uh, Wikipedia, because uh, if you receive a donation of content, uh, let's say, for Wikipedia and related projects, uh, you are able to use some argument like the one of uh, reciprocity, uh, to reassure uh, the, donate, the, the donors that, uh, yes, they are uh, allowing for very open uh, uses uh, for any kind of uses, but uh, their users will also have uh, to be similarly open, so uh, they will also benefit from uh, any modification, uh, el el elaborations, the, der the derivative works, and uh, mashup, and, and, and so on. Uh, here, uh, Instead, uh, you essentially tell to your, to your donor that they have to, to tolerate also reuses in which they are not even mentioned. So, of course, you can still use some arguments which are well-grounded, in my opinion, about the fact that uh, serious data reusers will keep track of a source, uh, will mention the source, because this increases actually the, the, uh, the, the value, the relevance, the credibility of a database. So, even if uh, you have a CC0 license, this does not mean that people have to get rid of attribution or mention of source. They just can do that in case a specific reuse uh, make this more practical, uh, let's say. But uh, in, in several cases, uh, the, the track will be kept, including on uh, Wikidata, where the, 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 the source is actually a key element uh, for the credibility of a piece of uh, um, data, but, but still uh, uh, you, you have this, this problem. Another problem is that in certain cases, uh, let's say that the donor probably received some 
content from other sources, and so uh, maybe they acquired very broad rights, but uh, uh, undertook an obligation to mention the source uh, because this looked a reasonable obligation, not uh, impairing direct reuses from the donor, but this could impair uh, the, the, let's say the, the licensing according to the rules uh, required by, by, by Wikidata. So yes, it's, it's, more, uh, it's more challenging, but I, I hope that I provided some suggestion to try to mitigate the, the, the fact that you have to ask for, let's say, a lot of uh, uh, permissivity to your donors. Okay, I guess time is also almost over, so thanks. <laughs>